Hello Sagittarius, welcome to February reading. Um, I will be starting with, I've got this Animal Wisdom Tarot, which I don't use very often, but I thought I'd give it a whirl today for you Sagittarians. Um, I've got the El Cree Oracle, which is this one. I use this to start us off, see what kind of energy is going on. And then we have what we call postcards from spirit um, and we'll end it with one of these. OK, so let's get on with it. This is for Sagittarius for the month of February. Please, Spirit, please give guidance for them for this month. This is 2020, by the way, just in case you're watching it in a year's time. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, let's see what we've got for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Hey, we got one. We have She Who Surprises, Rise, Surprise, Discovery, Revelation. Oh, we've got a hidden one underneath. Look at that. She Who Remains, Manitali, no, <laughs> Manatili, uh, Powerful Devotion, True Worth. Okay, Sagittarius. She Who Remains, She Who Surprises. Okay. Let's have a little read on these, see if we can get anything more from it. So, mana. Let's go for Bryce first because Bryce came out first. Bryce, Bryce, Bryce. There, here we go. Surprise, discovery, revelation. Bryce, she who surprises, stands watching at her window. She is singing a song we can't hear, but the butterflies can. They are attracted to her nature as if she was a living representation of nectar. She is their butterfly queen who can direct them to the sweetest flowers. She oversees pollination of not only the flora but of humankind as well. One of her favourite things is the unexpected discovery. It isn't only the surprise bringing Bryce her happiness, but the feeling of divinity that comes from the marvellous moment of revelation. When this card of surprise shows up, expect the unlooked for moment. If you are receptive to fortuitous and unheralded insight, you stand a very good chance of finding the answers you need. The key here is the message may come in unusual ways. You cannot expect a straightforward response. Rather look for those things that reveal themselves through patterns. Perhaps you see a caterpillar over and over, or maybe it will be the caterpillar the chrysalis and then the butterfly. Whatever the symbol is, don't worry if you don't understand it in the moment. Sometimes discoveries come only after we have assimilated the knowledge deep within ourselves. We must allow the process to unfold, forcing it may ruin the moment of the sacred surprise. How can I pay closer attention to the signs I am given? How can I discover my own divine direction? What has been revealed to me? So this is basically don't ruin the surprise <laughs> in in basic terms. Um, spirit is um, giving you something. Um, and the reason is, is because of Manatili, who's powerful devotion and true worth. So Sagittarius, you have shown your true worth. And because of that, spirit is giving you the universe or whoever you like to see um is yeah, got a surprise for you that's amazing right um tell you what i'll read manatilly very quickly and we'll go from there and we'll get on with the tarot read powerful devotion true worth manatilly she who remains sits on her crystal throne with her links beside her her gown shows her connection to the ice dragon her truth of self keeps her warm. Against the icy stairs of naysayers. Let me give you that one. There we go. 
and her gaze is cool as she surveys her snow-covered kingdom. Many of her subjects have left the wintry wilderness for less austere places. At any time, she too could have left her kingdom for other realms, but she is devoted to the ideals for her reign represents. Her rule may seem like a lonely one to some, but not to her. She knows how powerful a single person can be. This card's lesson is to stay true to your purpose even when others do not support you. Your true worth is not measured by the number of people who agree with you. Sorry, I'm doing a really bad job at showing you this card. People will come and go from your life, but have faith that you have the power to attract those who appreciate your gifts. Remember the lessons of this lady. Love yourself first and best. Those who remain by your side will be worthy of your affection. Your true worth is yours alone. How do you feel most powerful right now? Who supports me and is worthy of my friendship? What ideals do I need to devote myself to? That's great. Okay. Because you've stayed true to yourself, your true worth, you've shown your power, your devotion, and because of that, you have a surprise. <gasps> yes. Right, what are we doing next? Tarot. Right, let's go for these. <clears throat> these are quite cute. I like these. They're very animated. They've got animals on them. So I've got an animal for every um, card in the tarot. Sorry, if the camera keeps on shaking, it's because of the um, this table. This table is really wobbly. Right, so this is a tarot read, Celtic Cross, for Sagittarius in 2020. Tarot read for Sagittarius 2020. Oh, okay. Just waiting for one card to pop out. One card, please. That's not one card. We'll take that one. Okay, we have Seer of Feathers, which is... Seers. Who are the Seers? Let me double check on this. I don't want to give you wrong advice. See ya, feathers. See, I know the tarot, the Raider White date deck very well, but as soon as you put pretty pictures and extra words in it, it suddenly makes it a bit more complicated. Um. Nurture a garden. It's a page, right? The page. So, page of swords. Ooh, the truth is coming out about your true worth. Um, something that's going to happen by the looks of it. This is also about gossip, about um, uh, how do we say, can be the truth in gossip the problem with gossip you've got chinese whispers haven't you um you've got spying people spying on you maybe they're watching you maybe they're watching to find out if you have true worth and because they find out well actually yeah you do have true worth you've got a surprise coming right so we've got the three of swords Okay, magpie, seven of feathers, seven of swords, so I have to convert them in my head what they are in the normal tarot, um, yep, choices, juggling, three of shells, bear with me while I get you reading, what uh, three of shells, 
And then we have powder bear seco shells. Owl, Keeper of Light, that's number nine. Okay. Scorpion. I might have to pause you on this one. It's all right. I'll be back in like zero seconds because. Give me a sec. Sagittarius, this is the second part of your video. Um, the initial cards I've pulled out, I've had a look at them and I've made a conclusion. It's not going to agree with everyone because not everyone's in this situation. Um, but <laughs> it's just shocking. Right, OK. What I get, Sagittarius, is that there has been some heartbreak. Or whatever Sagittarius I'm talking to now. There has been heartbreak. Maybe it's been um, a love triangle. Three people. Something's happened. Whether you uh, were the one with the extra person. Or the person you're dealing with had the extra person. And the obstacle for that was the Ace of Branches. The Ace of Branches is... Um, a passionate new beginning. Okay. In your past, it was the three of shells. So again, three people. Three's a crowd, yeah? That's in the past. It's also the card of celebration. But the way this reading is coming across, it seems a little predicament going on. Um... So yeah, these three people though they're enjoying themselves. <laughs> they get they they they, but um, yeah, that's past energy. Okay. What you know you have is either a choice that needs to be made, or um, you're going to keep juggling. You can keep juggling the two things. But one has to give, otherwise one of them falls. So something needs to give. A choice needs to be made. That's the way you're thinking right now, okay? This is the way your energy is today. What your higher self would like to achieve. <laughs> seven of feathers. Um, this is the seven of swords. This is all about... Um, Deception. Let me just double check on this because sometimes they vary. Seven of Feathers. Sorry. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Um, the words that are coming across are impulsive, cunning, scheming, creative, inventive, discerning, aware. So it's almost as if... Um, You want it to go ahead due to this, this is new passion, okay? Um, in your future you have Seiko Shells, this is the Knight of Cups, this is you wanting to move forward um, and be the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is someone that is a messenger of love that wants to say their feelings. They want to give their feelings towards the other person. But I feel the other person already has someone. There's, oh, God, I'm throwing cards everywhere here. Yee, bad situation. Okay. What you have for your advice card is to look within. This is the the owl and it's called the keeper of the light a keeper of the light is um a lone individual that's looking deep within themselves they're choosing to be alone to think things through to see how they can how they really feel how they really should go forward what actions should they take this is the advice you need to look and think and be by yourself to think through this
people see you as um the five of uh, branches they're seeing rivalry um this is coming towards a gossip i think more than anything maybe there's some gossip around that's causing this so five of part branches is all about rivalry um confusion um people not having the full truth the full facts everyone's sort of beating each other <laughs> with sticks okay um seven of branches has come up for your hopes and fears your your hope is to stand your ground you don't want to move anywhere because you know basically you haven't done anything wrong so why should you so this is the seven of branches this is about self-defense uh perspective on being attacked but using your will to stand your ground until the very end even if you feel like you've been sort of attacked okay and then for the conclusion is the four of fossils four of fossils is can be seen in two ways it's about fear of movement it's about um holding on to hoarding it's about keeping hold of everything that is dear to you um staying grounded staying where you are um so it can be a positive or it can be a negative because in negative side you don't really move on you don't go anywhere but um a negative side um so yeah that's the negative but the positive side is that you feel safe in your surroundings um there's no risk of anything happening okay so the whole reading <laughs> sounds like someone who um wants to move forward with another person mind you there is no actual people in this reading it's all about the feeling it's all about the thought of it so i don't think it's actually anything's actually happened um maybe it's just um something that you feel and how right let's get back to how this is about showing your true worth this is about standing your ground about this so maybe because we had the parrot the seer of feathers this is about there was i think there was gossip this is what's coming across so there was gossip about something that's happened and <clears throat> and you have stood your ground you have shown your true worth and because of that, you are going to get a surprise, a discovery, a revelation, something a, something good that's going to happen because of the way this has been dealt with. Because you stood your ground, again, this is standing still. This is the conclusion of the reading. This is um, using self-defense, defending yourself, saying, no, actually, no. <laughs> That's brilliant. This is for Sagittarius. Um, and then we have, it's amazing because the advice is, is to look within yourself to know and understand your true worth, that this is happening and, you know, you have nothing to worry about. And <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say this is something to do with um, gossip about someone about three people three people a love triangle whatever you want to call it maybe it's three friends it may be three friends chatting to each other causing gossip causing chinese whispers maybe there's oh, it's maybe a friendship yes but we have the ace of branches a new passion so maybe there's a um, You want to be deceptive. Your higher self wants to keep the truth hidden. And oh, I see you got the Knight of Cups. Sorry, I'm confusing you here, Sagittarius. Even though <laughs> um, there's a choice to be made about going forward. 
with a message of love. See, this a message of love doesn't have to be romantic. A message of love could just be someone saying, you know what, I appreciate you, appreciate for what you do. That there's deceptive energy, either from yourself, maybe you don't want to give this. You want to keep it hidden. You want to keep the feelings hidden. Right, okay. You want to keep the new passion. Yeah, it's kind of saying, it's written all over it. It's a love reading. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> Trying to make it a bit more, you know, more about friendship or whatever. But no, this is definitely a love reading. Um, but you've done you've done well by the sounds of it because Spirit is rewarding you with a surprise you've done something okay i think that's all i have for you but we're, ah we still need a message a message from postcards from spirit so this is a postcard from spirit to sagittarius ah I wonder what we, uh, do you know, do you know, I didn't ask the cards is, what can you do now about it? But I think we've basically got the, wonder what the reward is. Oh, I wonder what your surprise is. Then it wouldn't be a surprise then, would it? <laughs> so in the month of February, Sagittarius, you're getting a surprise. That's nice. i got two cards. I'll read the top one. Okay. These are lovely, really so the letters. Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again, full circle, in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die, only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better that to your small self, whose desires are unmet. Now here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different, more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions and the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have full come full circle and now you can see that everything changes, is made new. And has given new hope, loving you always. Look at that. That is so on point. Okay. We have, I've got another one. Might as well read it. I'll give it a go. Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you. And we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. You don't have to do it all. You've done your part, now let us do what ours. You would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan, and when you sign up to the co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of Spirit. Remember, though, Spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us, Spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life and before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. We love you so much. Amazing. Right, thank you, Sagittarius, for listening. Um, I hope I didn't confuse you too much. <laughs> um, please give us a thumbs up and if you want to, subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.